Hey guys, it is time for my July book haul and it is a doozy because this is my birthday month. So get a drink, get a blanket, get a snack and curl up because it's gonna be a while. Uh, my birthday is actually on July 23rd and I made a ridiculously humongous wish list of books that I've seen throughout the year that I wanted and I basically told everybody that all I wanted for my birthday was books. I spend so much money on books that it saves me money if I can just get them as presents so it's helpful especially new releases and basically everybody listened to me and just bought me a crap ton of books. First book is Iron Skin by Tina Connolly and this is supposed to be a steampunky retelling of Jane Eyre meshed with Beauty and the Beast. It might be a hot mess. I have a feeling it's gonna be a hot mess, but I love retellings. So I'm gonna give it a shot. It wasn't that expensive, we'll see. Next, I received as a present from my parents The Wizard's Promise, The Assassin's Curse, and The Pirate's Wish, all from Cassandra Rose Clark. This is, I believe, a middle grade series. I believe these two books are together and I think this is a different story or a spin-off of it. And it is a about a girl who doesn't want to get married and runs away and everything that that you know happens because of it. I've heard really good things about this and I'm really excited to read it. Next, I got Beautiful Oblivion from Jamie McGuire. It's a spin-off of her Beautiful Disaster series. I really liked Beautiful Disaster. I read it like I couldn't stop reading it even though I mean my logical mind was telling me this is not really that great. It's just, it's like crack, you can't stop. I am excited that this is from somebody, this is a different character because her writing style, like I said, is crack-like. So I'm excited to read a completely new story that's not a retelling, so we'll see. Next, I have Love and Other Foreign Words by Erin McCahan. I really wanted to read this, not only because the protagonist's name is Josie, it's one of those names that I never actually read much of in literature, so I'm really excited. And I've heard amazing things about this book. It's about a girl who's really intelligent, but is stumped by love. Next, I had pre-ordered Silver Shadows by Rochelle Mead, and it came on release day. I'm not super excited to read this, to be honest with you, just because I did not love the last book. I read it last month, it was in my wrap up. I mean, I've heard good things about it, but I'm just kind of like taking a break from the series. Next was my most anticipated book of the summer, and that is Rainbow Rowell's Landline. I read it, I loved it, I really, really enjoyed uh, the writing style. I'll talk about it a little bit more in my wrap up, but Landline. Next is Through the Woods Stories by Emily Carroll. I will talk about this more in my wrap up. I read it, I loved it, it's like a horror, mystery kind of graphic novel. Next is Ketchup Clouds, a novel by Annabelle Pitcher. I did read the synopsis. It seems like something I would really be interested in. I do believe it's contemporary, so I'm curious to see what this book is about. Next is Looking for Alaska by John Green, and I bought this at Target for 20% off. Did the audiobook, really enjoyed the audiobook, so I decided that I wanted to buy the physical book as well in case I wanted to reread it. I think I bought this like the, the very first day of the month. Next is Thorn Abbey by Nancy Olin. Olin? I think it's Olin. And this is a retelling of Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I'm hoping that reading a retelling of it is not gonna scare me as much. I'm excited to dig into this. The next book is Ready Player One. I am currently listening to the audiobook of this. It is narrated by Will Wheaton, which is really exciting. So I'm gonna probably do a half and half reading audiobook combo for this, but I'm really excited for this. Next is The Falconer by Elizabeth May. I don't know anything about this except that the cover looks amazing. She looked like a kick-ass woman fierce with her red hair, and I wanted to give it a go. Next is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Madsen. It's a contemporary, I know it's about a road trip. It's a road trip love story. 
so I'm excited to dig in. Next is Kiss of Deception, The Kiss of Deception, and it is book one of The Remnant Chronicles by Mary E. Pearson. I'm really excited to read this. Like I had heard that it was coming out and I had kind of heard a little bit about it that it was a princess who didn't want to get married. She didn't want to marry the person that she was matched to marry. So she kind of runs away and then she's chased after by the prince that she was supposed to marry and somebody who's sent to kill her. And I heard that it has a very interesting perspective, the way that the story is told, and that is really interesting to me. So I'm looking forward to digging into this. Next, I have Love Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. When I was in school, I read Maniac McGee by Jerry Spinelli, and I really liked it. And I had heard really, really great things about Star Girl that it's really short and really cute, and it has like a really nice story and lesson in it so I decided to pick it up and I'm excited to dig in. Next, I'm not sure if I already called this, maybe. This is The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson and I know that there's a movie coming out of this book and the movie looks really cute but I did want to read it beforehand so I picked it up. From what I see it looks really cute and very quirky and I really like quirky little stories, so I'm excited for this. Next is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. This is a new adult. I really binged through most of Colleen Hoover's books uh, last year, so I was excited to see what this story was about because it is separate from the two other book series that I've read. I've read her Hopeless series and her Slammed series. I'm excited to see what this is about. Next is Not A Drop To Drink by Mindy McGinnis and I bought this book for myself because I had heard great things about it and it seems really interesting about a world who like is having suffering through a really severe water shortage, which seems really interesting because let's face it, in a post-apocalyptic world, if there's no water, I would just be like, kill me. Say What You Will by Cammie McGovern. And my understanding is that this is a really cute little contemporary book. And right now I'm kind of in the mood for nice little contemporary. So I'm probably gonna pick this up soon. Next is Rebel Spring and Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I have wanted these books for a while but figured that I wouldn't get around to them. And then they had like a really good deal at Barnes & Noble when I went with my gift card and I was like, screw this, I'm just gonna get them so that I can read them because the next book is coming out in December. So yeah, I totally just slapped myself with this book. I mean, next, like honestly, this was a book that I was so excited about. I already read it, but I like physically wanted a copy of the book and this is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This, I have it on my nook, I have the audiobook, and now I physically have a copy. Like, I have a problem, quite honestly. It's like this massive version of it. It's like so much bigger than my hand. I'm really excited because I don't really like mass market paperbacks. Next is The Storied Life of AJ Fickery. This book was super recommended to me by an old friend who said that I absolutely had to pick up the physical copy of the book because it's just a different experience reading it like that. I took her word for it, I put it on my wish list. I am currently reading this book, I'm that much into it, and I am obsessed with it. I'm having the same kind of experience with this book that I had with The Giver a couple of months ago. So yeah, I'll talk about this you know, in my wrap up when I do it, but I am probably gonna do a full review for this book because I just, can't. Next is All the Light We Cannot See. I'm really excited about this. I know that it is about a blind girl. It's historical. It's about a blind girl, I think, in World War II, and she falls in love with a Nazi, maybe? I'm really excited to read this. It's pretty giant, though. It's, it's, a, it's a whopper, and the writing is not very large, so... Yeah. Next, I bought on Book Outlet because they had it, and I was really excited about this book two and three in the Fairyland series. And this is the girl who fell beneath Fairyland and led the rebels there. And the girl who soared over Fairyland and cut the moon in two by Catherine M. Valenti. I already have book one, but as you know, I won't read it unless I have it all. So I was excited to find these two. So now I can uh, read them all. And the illustrations are really pretty, but also kind of traumatizing. I don't know if you could see the expression on that little girl's face. She looks like she's gonna cut you. Next is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. I believe the second book in this series just came out. I'm not gonna know the name of it because that's how I roll, but I've heard amazing things about this. This is an adult fantasy 
ish book and it sounds really interesting and really complicated if that makes sense so i'm probably going to hold off on reading this until i actually have like maybe a, a day or two off where i can really process it um but yeah this looks like a really interesting book next is henry tilney's diary by amanda george i collect these like i actually read them i don't just collect them and like look at them and i'm like oh how pretty a jane austen ripoff no i actually collect these books and read them and i didn't even know that they had one for henry tilney who is the main character the main male character in northanger abbey i love him he's one of my favorite uh, austin heroes so i was really excited to find this and it was on book outlet so it was 2.99 next is the murder complex by Lindsay Cummings. I'm really excited to read this. It's kind of about a world that um, shit goes crazy and there's a lot of murder. And I originally thought that it was gonna be scary, but after hearing other booktubers review it, I don't think it's scary. I just think it sounds really interesting. So I'm excited to dig into this. And it has this super badass barcode on the side. On my actual birthday, I went to my mom's house and she had ordered my books, but they hadn't gotten there yet. And my mom always likes to give me something. So she basically went to the supermarket and bought me two books that looked interesting and that she thought I would like. I don't know what she based this on, but okay, I'm going to take her word for it. And honestly, they do look kind of interesting. <laughs> One of them is called The Apothecary by Maile Malloy. And the other one is called The Book of Elsewhere, The Shadows by Jacqueline West. Um, I know that they are both part of a series. I believe this is the first in a series, but I do think that maybe this is like, I don't know, book three or four in the series. So I would have to get the other ones first. Um, but they're both middle grade. They look really cute, really intriguing, kind of fantasy-esque. And I'm all about that. And this one got E.B. White's read aloud award for terrific book so that's cute next is sidekicked by john david anderson i w thought this book looked super cute it's about a kid who has superhero powers and goes to school to learn how to harness it but i think nobody else in his life knows that he has superhero powers and he's actually put as a sidekick in the world I'm excited about getting into this this is middle grade next is the Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have this book on my Nook, but I wanted a physical copy of it. I think everybody knows what this is about, but basically it's about a world where uh, not many kids exist and the ones that do have developed superpowers, I believe. So this seems like something that I would like. I mean, because really who doesn't like stuff that involves superpowers? Next is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is an adult high fantasy book. This is one of the few books that I have uh, was able to convince my husband to read as well because he thinks that everything that I read is YA so I'm really excited to dig into this and then have him read it. This is part of the Gentleman Bastards series I believe so and I've heard amazing things about it. Then I have The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Rothfuss. This is also another uh, high fantasy adult novel. I've heard absolutely stunning things about this book. I know that the author is very active on social media and he's always talking about books that he reads that he really likes and I actually like authors that engage with their readers so I'm excited to, to read this. Okay guys, we're down to the final three. Next is Romeo Redeemed. Now, I don't really know what to say about this. I have the first book, Julia Immortal, and I would rather have them both than not be able to finish reading it. So, And lastly, I have Storm Dancer and Kinslayer books one and two in the Lotus War series. And this is about, I don't know if you can see, about a kind of like ninja assassin badass. But I know that it has, I want to say some steampunk ele elements, but it's Japanese. Steampunk. I have heard good things about this and these are some amazingly badass covers so I'm really excited. That is it I want to say. So let me know if you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought of, for instance if you've read Landline, let me know, let me know your thoughts on it and please 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 suggest what you think I should read next because I don't know where to start. So that's it, bye!